right so we'll be discussing the paper attempting strategy with what weightage should you give to which particular segment you have part a part b part c what should be your approach towards each of the part which part you should attempt first because we have our examination between 26th to 28th of december right so only less than 20 days are left you should be having a very very clear strategy a very very proper strategy of using these 180 minutes with the best of your ability right let's begin so part a is what part a is your general aptitude right part b is what part b is your theory segment where the questions are majorly one liners then you have part c part c is towards the experimental side match the following statement wise we can call these questions like they are comparatively lengthier than part b right part b is shorter questions in which you have maximum a line or a two where you have to read it four options and mark the correct one in part c you majorly have experimental questions to work upon where you have to put in your logic where you have to put in your strategy for the same right so let's discuss about each of these things in detail right so first we'll be discussing about which particular segment to do first how many questions should you target for maximum output anything and everything right let's talk about the pattern the number of questions the safe range and everything right so you have part a you have part b you have part c right wait a second yeah you have part a part b and part c part a you have 20 questions in total and you have a choice of leaving any five you can do 15 questions every question two marker 30 marks part b is majorly like there are 30 uh, 50 questions in total you have to do 35 out of it two marks per question 70 marks over here part c 75 questions in total you have to do only 25 every question four marker 100 marks so the entire paper is for 30 plus 70 plus 100 that is 200 marks right now from part a you have a negative of 0.5 in part b you have a negative of again 0.5 over here you have a negative of one that is one fourth of the marks that is given for a correct one so one fourth of this is 0.5 and then for four it is one right now understand this thing properly that what should be your range what should be your safe range for the number of questions to be attempted in part a have a target of solving out at least eight to ten questions at at least because if you have practiced out your part a properly then solving out 10 questions from the 20 questions of the entire loop you can easily get 10 questions out of the same right so first thing in part b have a target of solving at least 23 to 27 questions this is the least possible okay if you have can solve more very good but at least have a target of solving out 23 to 27 questions in part c target out as many questions as possible 23 to 25 should be the range if you are able to solve all 25 very good 23 to 25 should be your range if i tell you my own marking what i or how many questions did i solve in my main examination so in part a i solved nine questions in part b i solved 29 questions i had a target of 27 but at that time i was able to like recall few more so i solved 29 out of it and in part c i solved 25 out of 25 questions and as a result i was easily able to get through the paper right so remember to have a range of the marks very much clear so that if you look into the average what do you say 
cut off or an average percentile cut off that we see every year so for jrf it is between 110 like we take a range of 110 to 120 out of the total 200 and for your ls it is 99 to 105 like sometimes it's 101 sometimes it's 100 so let's take a safe range and this is i'm talking about the general category for different categories we have different different ranges general have the highest cut off so let's take that particular thing itself in consideration right so if you check here properly let's take i have we have done nine questions so 9 into 2 18 marks over here let's say over here you have done 25 questions 25 into 2 50 and let's say over here you have done 24 questions into 4 it will be 96 right now add on all these things that is 96 plus 50 Plus eighty, which is equal to one sixty four. Right now, this one sixty four will not be your final score. Obviously, we all are humans, and we cannot expect our answers to be hundred percent correct. Right, you should be very much. in the range that even if you get some questions as negative then also you will be falling in the range of 125 to 130 okay when we take up a safe range it should be 125 to 130 you should have a target of scoring at least 130 and for scoring final 130 you should be or you should be solving the paper with additional 30 to 40 marks that if i get questions some questions wrong i will still be able to qualify my examination have a very very solid oh uh, calculation clear in your head that okay i have to solve out these many questions do not burden yourself that i have to do all the 35 not required i have to do all the 15 not required but having this range clear and having hold in your theory segment having hold in your practicing of the questions every single thing is important right so have a range of these many questions that you should and should solve for part a your range should be 8 to 10 questions for part b your range should be 23 to 27 for part c your range should be 23 to 25 and it is not difficult to find out the 25 questions out of 75 if you have a proper strategy many students complain that ma'am we were not able to read the paper till the end of the examination and part c got i was not able to complete part c because you don't have a proper strategy how will you be able to manage see the student getting air 1 is also having the same 180 minutes the student getting air or the student who is not qualifying that is also getting 180 minutes itself but what is the point additional thing that the air 1 or air any particular rank student have done those of the students who qualify they have strategized their marking they have strategized their 180 minutes to the best of their ability right so this is about all the the complete range and what should you be doing while Uh, in the number of questions what should be your strategy so i hope this is clear to all